In this lesson, we're going to go over how to resize images with Preview. This will almost always mean reducing the size of the image to make the dimensions in pixels smaller or the file size in megabytes less. Often when uploading a profile photo for a website or an image to a message board, there will be a limit on the dimensions or file size of that image. If you operate a website, reducing the size of images is very important for page load times. So first, let's look at the size of this image with the Inspector panel, which can be accessed from the Tools menu or using the shortcut Command-I. This file is 6,000 by 4,000 pixels and comes in at 6.6 .6 megabytes. For the photos that are displayed on SwansonDigital.com, I set them to have a maximum width of 1400 pixels. This seems to be a good balance between image quality, which is lost when the size is reduced, and file size, which needs to be low so the page loads as fast as possible. The dimensions displayed down here are the measurements of the full size file that will be output when the image is downloaded after purchase. Back in Preview, let's go to the Tools menu and Adjust Size. I want the largest number here, either width or height, to be 1400. So I'll enter that in the Width field. Since I have Scale proportionally checked, the height measurement is going to automatically adjust to the correct number. Below, Preview lets me know that the resulting file is going to be 23% the size of the current one, and is only going to be about 600 kilobytes compared to 6.6 .6 megabytes for the original. Click OK and the image shrinks. Now I can either save the file, or export it as a separate version, or a different file type. We'll look more at this in the next lesson. Let's do another quick resize example. This time I want to adjust the size of the logo icon for this tutorial. Currently it's 1024 by 1024 pixels and about 730 kilobytes. It's not really big, but on the MacU.com these icons are displayed quite small. So I'm going to reduce this to 160 by 160 pixels, which will result in a really small file size. That's good because there are a lot of these icons on the home page that need to load each time the page is viewed. If you ever need to resize several files at once, you can do that with Preview as well. So I'm going to open four more of these tutorial icon files. If I select all of these here in the sidebar, then go to Tools and Resize, I can set a single size for all the files. Now each one is 160 by 160. This is also going to work with files that come in with different sizes. So if you have several photos that you want to have all the same width, you can do that here in Preview, even if their original widths are all different. Next we'll look at converting to different file types. 